Dennis Dugan, also known as Doogie. He is a film director and an actor. Um, he was born September 5th, 1946, uh, Virgo, like me, uh, born in Wheaton, Illinois, as Dennis Barton Dugan. Married to Sharon Dugan, now and previously married to Joyce Van Patten, uh, graduated from Wheaton Central High School in 1964. Um, he's an accomplished painter and he's opened up many galleries in the Los Angeles area. Um, his parents were an insurance salesman and a housewife. Uh, his films have grossed over $1 billion, and he has a son named Kelly who is on the major league roster of the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, five films that the director has made is Happy Gilmore, which was released on February 16th, uh, 1996. The genre was comedy slash sport. Uh, the major stars included Adam Sandler, Francis Bay, Bob Barker, Kevin Nealon, and even Dennis Dugan himself. It won MTV Aw Movie Award for Best Fight. Uh, the critics review are listed. Um, the comedy is never more than sudden outside explosions of violence from the otherwise placid childlike happy. Uh, that was from Dave Kerr in, uh, from New York Daily News. <clears throat> a one-joke Caddyshack for the Blitzed and Jaded. That was said by Owen Gleiberman from Entertainment Weekly. Um, and if you notice, they don't sound that nice. Um, even though this is my favorite film director uh, and Adam Sandler is one of my favorite actors, I try not to be biased when uh, picking out the random reviews that I'm reading off. Um, some audience reviews were, I praise the humor, cast, specifically Sandler, uh, and the message of working hard, not only for yourself, uh, not only for who you love, also for yourself. And that was by Alex H. Usual stupid Adam Sandler comedy, uh, but still entertaining and fun to watch, Estenes. Uh, there was also Big Daddy in 1999, uh, released on June 17th, which was also a comedy, um, slash kids, family. Uh, major stars also included Adam Sandler, John Stewart, Cole Sprouse, and Dylan Sprouse. Uh, it won MTV Movie Award for Best Comedic Performance, People's Choice Award for Favorite Comedic Movie, uh, Kids' Choice Award for Favorite Movie and Actor, and etc. Um, that one won most of the awards, and it was my favorite myself. I love Big Daddy. <laughs> um, some critic reviews uh, include Amiable, uh, Sisoid, uh, and Disposable. Big Daddy is just as formulaic as you would imagine. That was by David Anson with Newsweek. Uh, this light yet earnest drama starring Adam Sandler deals openly with one of the most insidious elements in popular filmmaking. Uh, and that was Mel Screenwriter's relationship with his own father. Uh, that was from Lisa Alspector from the Chicago Reader. Um, some of the audience reviews include one of the few watchable Adam Sandler films, Anthony S. Uh, this movie is a masterpiece and if you have a problem with it, you are broken inside. That was an anonymous uh, reviewer. Um, all these are read off Rotten Tomatoes, by the way. Um, and I agree with that last one. <laughs> Um, I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry is the third film that I'll be talking about. It was released on June 20th, 2007. Uh, it was also a comedy slash romance. Uh, major stars also including Adam Sandler, Kevin James, uh, Ving Rhomes, uh, Steve Buscemi, Rachel Dratch, Nick Schward, Blake Clark, and uh, Mary Pat Gleason. Um, now this didn't... Uh, receive any awards, but it was a successful film. Um, some critics' reviews include, there is something to be said for a movie that may end up preaching for a change to the unconverted. That was from David Anson again from Newsweek. Uh, the closing message claims to promote tolerance, but this remains a lad's comedy. It's all about sniggering at pansies and peeking up girls' pan uh, skirts. And that was from Anna Smith with BBC.com. 
And some audience reviews included some good comedy, some stale and basic comedy, and super preachy at times. And that was from Wally Day. Uh, great cast and funny movie. And that was from Gemma F. Um, then you got Jack and Jill, which was released on November 11th, 2011. Um, also comedy, major stars including Adam Sandler, Al Pacino, uh, David Spade, and Nick Schward. Um, it did win Kids' Choice Award for Favorite Movie Actor. And the critics reviews include totally mediocre. Uh, that was from Matt Singer with Time Out. And what makes Jack and Jill worse than the average Sandler vehicle is Jill, who's been conceived as little more than a dude in drag. Hold the jokes. And that was uh, Scott Tobias with AV Club. Um, audience reviews include funny, sweet, heartfelt, charming. Jack and Jill is a family-friendly treat and features Adam Sandler at his typical best. And that was from Den V. Sure, it's definitely great for the kids. I'm ashamed to say I was quite entertained, but at the same time, the humor is just boring. That was from Jacob S. And clearly, these people have no idea what they're talking about. Um, and then you got Grown Ups, which was released June 25th, 2010. Uh, also comedy. Major stars also including Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Chris Rock, David Spade, Rob Schneider, Steve Buscemi, and Maya Rudolph. Uh, they won People's Choice Awards for Favorite Comedic Movie and MTV Movie Award for Best Line. Uh, some critics and reviews include um, The Male Fantasy of Cheerleader Spouse, Well-Adjusted Kids, and Expanding Waistline. Uh, that was with Joshua Rothkopf from Time Out. Lazy is the word. A.O. Scott at the movies. Um some audience reviews include anyone interested in Adam's, Adam Sandler's fart jokes will find themselves a solid movie. And that was also from Denby. Uh, Grown Ups mostly falls back on boring slapstick and piss jokes. Uh, forgettable and trite. Uh, making for a mediocre comedy that's forgettable and trite. And that was from Parker F. Um... Now, something that I noticed about um, the director is that he enjoys uh, sports, I believe. Um, you know, in Happy Gilmore, there's hockey involved. Uh, and Big Daddy, um, they like to watch a lot of football. Um, they play basketball a lot in the movie I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry. Um, there's a lot of violent humor used. Um, the anger issues involved in Happy Gilmore... Um, and I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, uh, you know, they joke around about one of the firefighters having a anger issue and being a murderer before, um, he came to that, uh, fire department. Um, and Big Daddy, they, uh, tripped the little boy in Sandler, tripped, uh, people on their skateboards with sticks, uh, placing them in the road, um, playing Russian roulette with bows and arrows and grownups. Um, they all include Adam Sandler. They are they have a close relationship, him and um, Dugan. Uh, there's a family aspect in each film, and it focuses on real issues such as child abandonment, abandonment, um, daddy issues, and they even touch on LGBT. And I now pronounce oh. you Chuck and Larry. Um, so <laughs> uh, now that I took up more than the time that I needed to. Uh, I think that you have a pretty detailed description of his work. Thank you.